Duke? Well, Mike, any luck today? Well, I figured out a swell racket, and everything was going great until the cops came along. Too bad it didn't work. If them cops would stick to their own racket and leave honest guys alone, we'd get somewhere in this country without a lot of this relief and all that stuff. Hmm. Mike, I wouldn't worry. Prosperity's just around the corner. Yeah, it's been there a long time. I wish I knew which corner. Hmm. Well, Duke, I'm going to turn in. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Mike. place, all right. That looks like one of them sitting outside that looks shack. Looks like a pretty tough joint to me. Stall Irene. I'll talk to the fellow. I don't think it's fair of you and Cornelia. I told you about this place. We got here first. Well, she's not going to get ahead of me. Good evening. Good evening. How'd you like to make five dollars? Uh, I didn't quite catch what you said. I said, how'd you like to make five dollars? Five dollars? Five dollars. <laughs> I don't want to seem inquisitive, but what would I have to do for it? Oh, all you have to do is go to the Bordeaux Fritz Hotel with me, and I'll show you to a few people, and then I'll send you right back. May I inquire just why you would want to show me to people at the Waldorf Ritz? Oh, if you must know it's a game, you've probably heard about it, a scavenger hunt. If I find a forgotten man first, I win. Is that clear? Yes, quite clear. Shall I wear my tails or come just as I am? You needn't be fresh. Do you want the five dollars or don't you? Madam, I can't tell you how flattered I am by your very generous offer. George! However, I'm afraid I'll have to take it up with my board of directors. Don't you touch me! No matter what my board of directors advise, I think you should be spanked. George, do something! You in the habit of hitting ladies? Maybe. I'm in the habit of hitting gentlemen also, if that'll interest you. Well, aren't you going to do anything? Yes, let's get a policeman. Who are you? I'm Irene. That was my sister Cornelia who pushed in the ash pile. Well, how'd you like to have me push Cornelia's sister into an ash pile? Oh, I don't think I'd like it. Well, then you better get out of here. Oh, you bet. Wait a minute. Sit down. I'm sitting. What's up, Snoop? Need some help? No, thanks, boys. Got everything under control. You a member of this hunting party? I was, but I'm not now. Are they all forgotten men, too? Yes, I guess they are. Maybe why? It's the funniest thing. I couldn't help but laugh. I've wanted to do that ever since I was six years old. You wanted to do what? Oh, push Cornelia in something, a pile of ashes or something. You know, that was faithful George Wither. That isn't really his name, but we call him that because he gets in everybody's hair. His father's a broker. That's very enlightening. <laughs> Cornelia thought she was going to win, and you pushed her in a pile of ashes. <laughs> do you think you could follow an intelligent conversation for just a moment? I'll try. Well, that's fine. Do you mind telling me just what a scavenger hunt is? Well, a scavenger hunt is exactly like a treasure hunt. Except in a treasure hunt, you try to find something you want. And in a scavenger hunt, you try to find something that nobody wants. Like a forgotten man. That's right. And the one that wins gets a prize. Only there really isn't a prize. It's just the honor of winning because all the money goes to charity. That is, if there's any money left over, but then there never is. Mm. Well, that mm. clears the whole matter up beautifully. You know, I've decided I don't want to play any more games with human beings as objects. It's kind of sordid when you think of it. I mean, when you think it over. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I haven't thought it over. Uh, see, I don't like to change the subject, but do you tell me why you live in a place like this when there's so many other nice places? You really want to know. Oh, I'm very curious. Mm. It was because my real estate agent felt that the altitude would be very good for my asthma. Oh, my uncle has asthma. No. Uh. Well, now there's a coincidence. Uh, well, I suppose I should be going now, shouldn't I? It's a good idea. I want to see who won the game. I suppose it was Cornelia again. She probably got another forgotten man by now. You mean if you took me along with you that you'd win the game? Is that the idea? Well, I might if I got there first, but after seeing what you did to Cornelia, I'm not saying anything. But you'd win if you got back first with me. It'd be awfully nice of you, but I don't like to ask. Let's beat Cornelia. You wouldn't be asking too much? See, I've got a sense of curiosity, just the same as you have. I'd really like to see just what a scavenger hunt looks like. But I told you. Yes, I'm uh, still curious. Well, come on. Thank you. My name is Blake. My name is Bullock. The place slightly resembles an insane asylum. Well, all you need to start an asylum is an empty room 
them the right kind of people. That's right. Take a look at the dizzy old gal with the goat. I've had to look at her for 20 years. That's Mrs. Bullock. I'm terribly sorry. How do you think I feel? All right, all right.